Rangers. Not only is Ben Broussard a great baseball player, he's also an accomplished musician. And it all started when he was a kid. Well, uh, I learned when I was 15. My parents both played the guitar, so I grew up with the guitar around the house. And, um, you know, just decided to pick it up, took lessons for like two months, and then uh, just started started hanging out with people in high school that were really good musicians and went to college and uh, met some guys in a dorm and we decided to start a band and so started playing in college around like, you know, in bars and playing cover songs. And I grew up, uh, you know, like Pearl Jam and all that. I mean, I was really into them. And I love their, their slow songs. And, uh, you know, I like Ben Harper. And I like uh, Coldplay. I like so many different types of stuff. Plus, I like, uh, I beatbox a little bit and play the guitar. It's kind of, it's hard to explain, but so like I'll, I'll be playing the guitar and I'll be beatboxing. It's almost like doing a guitar solo. But. beatbox and and, uh, and I would goof around and do it on shows and then people were just like keep doing it keep doing it so I started like trying to incorporate it more and it's like that's all people really want to hear is like whenever you're playing live and you're in a microphone and you know because it's kind of like you got the you can do your own percussion and all that kind of stuff so believe it or not Ben has some musical ties to the Emerald City his first true recording came right here in Seattle the first time I ever really played and recorded was here at the, the EMP like uh, I was a rookie in Cleveland and I heard about the place and we had like a day off or we had a day game and I went up, just went out here and uh, I got up in the, the little recording area and they give you like 10 minutes and I recorded four songs and uh, I brought it to the field the next day. I was all excited because I couldn't believe how good it sounded because it was like, you know, great, you know, it's, it's a studio. So it sounds good quality. It's not like the little tape recorders and the bootleg recordings that I always used to do with my stuff. So I flipped it in the CD player and let the guys hear it and no one believed me because I was a rookie and nobody knew that I could play and sing. When I was in Cleveland, I, I didn't write for a while. You know, it had been a couple months before I wrote any songs. And then I got traded over here and it's like, man, three songs right off the bat. I'm always got my eyes open about, you know, like what's going on around me. So I've wrote songs about like teammates that are going through divorce, you know, like uh, I've wrote songs about friends that are addicted to drugs. You know, they're just, it's all kinds of different stuff. But a lot of it's just from, uh, it sounds like it's me. So like when people listen to some of my songs, they're like, man, it's really heavy, man. Are you okay? You know, and I'm like, well, not all the songs are about me, you know. How we go from lovers under the covers, laughing and smiling, sipping white wine, fell out of love. Actually, that one's about uh, one of the guys I played with. It like he had this perfect marriage, and he tells me just out of the blue, blows me away one day. BP, yeah, me and my wife are getting divorced. He's got a couple kids, and I'm just like, no way, you know? And I'm like, yeah, we're just not, it's not there, you know? It's, it's over. And I went home, and I was just like, kind of blown away. And I wrote this song, you know, just kind of talking about how you can fall in and out of love. And I take it all back. Yeah, I take it all back. Didn't mean to hurt you like that. The good thing is they didn't get divorced, you know, and I got to play the song for him, they heard it, and, you know, he knew when I wrote the song, I was like, dude, you gotta hear this song, because the next day I told him, and he was like, man, I want her to hear it, you know, so I played it for him, and then, um, they ended up working it out, you know. Remember that you crawl. You kind of just get into your own world when you play, you know, kind of like in, in baseball, you have to do that when you're in a big situation and the bases are loaded and the game's on the line, you have to figure out a way to just kind of crawl into your little, your little square, and not get out of it and it's kind of like that with the guitar when I get in there I'm just it's just me well the cool thing about the guitar is it's something you can do for you know to you can be 70 and still write songs so you know I think I'll always do that it just it's uh, kind of the way I think no care at all believe in something remember For the Bullpen Show, I'm Erin Mayovsky. No cares at all.